If there's one thing I really like doing, it's pointing out the biggest examples of hypocrisy when it comes to the climate change debate. And something fell right into my lap today. This was an easy one. So Harrison Ford is currently trending on Twitter for a speech he gave last year. Why is it trending right now? I don't know. But what I do know is that it is incredibly hypocritical. So let me just go ahead and play a little bit of the speech. Okay, actually, before we go any further, I had to stop on this one line, because this is interesting. So Harrison Ford is a bit of a pilot himself. He owns a couple planes, he loves to fly. I think that's really cool. I'm totally in favor of it. But he says, don't give power to people who pretend to not know about science and use it for their own self-interests. Check out this quote from Harrison Ford. Learning to fly is a work of art. I'm so passionate about flying. I often fly up the coast for a cheeseburger. Flying is like good music. It elevates the spirit and it's an exhilarating freedom. In my opinion, deciding to take a plane or a jet in some cases, fly up the coast, land, and get a cheeseburger doesn't exactly seem like the most environmentally friendly thing in the world. Now, I want to throw a little bit of a, a disclaimer in here. If this cheeseburger is that good, I do think you can hold your moral superiority while flying and, you know, doing the exact opposite you say to get it. Because, come on, who doesn't want, like, a really good cheeseburger? There's no cheeseburger that good. This is just a blatant example of hypocrisy that global elites use. And sure, he's not a global political elite, but he is an elite in terms of how well connected he is, how much money he has. He's more elite than me, I'll tell you that. But... You know, I'm not even close. And, you know, there's a there's another level to this. So many people pushing the, you know, climate alarmism message here saying that meat is one of the biggest problems we currently have with regards to carbon dioxide emissions. So let me ask you, if taking a private jet and going up the coast to then go buy some meat, eat the meat and then fly back. Does that seem like you're really caring about the planet? To me, this sounds like Harrison Ford pretends to not believe in science for his own self-interest. Roll that one more time. Don't worry, I found a clip of Harrison Ford flying and he kind of reveals his thinking. So here it is. Up here, I don't think about much except flying what my duties and responsibilities are and everything else just kind of falls away. That's very restful for me. Oh, okay, this makes more sense now. So when he's flying, he doesn't really think about much and his duties and his responsibilities, they fall away. So, oh, okay, if you have access to the jet and then you go up in the, in the air to fly it, you don't actually have to worry about climate change because it's just so relaxing. And like at some point, come on, when something's that relaxing, do we really care about environmental justice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Harrison, because you went on a speech and now all of Twitter is going, I stand with Harrison Ford and using that as an example of why we need to push more climate alarmism. And then you just, again, take these private jet flights. It's it's just the most blatant hypocrisy, which, to be honest, is great for me because these videos are fun to make. It's bad for the people that listen to Harrison Ford and actually believe what he says. Do you think Harrison Ford really believes what he's saying when it comes to climate change? And then just has this mental barrier between that and his own actions so he can fly to get a cheeseburger and doesn't even care. Or do you think he lies that he doesn't actually care about the climate? He's just doing this to be in the in club or whatever when it comes to elites. I don't really know how the club works. But then he's still just going to go do whatever he wants. I don't know. Um, I don't think the answer matters that much. I think it's just gross hypocrisy either way. But I wanted to bring this to your attention because, again, he's trending today. Catch you guys next time. It's Andy with the Heartland Suit. Make sure you check out climaterealism.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.